Start this time when I'm on mornings, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Has someone been smoking? Oh, you know where everything is. Sure. Five minutes, and that's it. Am I glad to see you? Oh, they won't let me in. I kept going on and on at them. In the end, they said I could come see you. Put your mind at rest about hope. Is she all right? She's fine. Katie's got her. Have they let you back into our house yet? Yeah, yesterday. Oh, thank God for that. So how are you feeling? I'm completely spaced out. I've hardly slept. I'm terrified, Ches. Do you know I'm in court this morning? They said. I'm dreading it. Is this about them deaths? No. It's just the fraud over Joy's will. Well, can't you blame that on stage? Not when I did it on my own, without him knowing. Wouldn't have happened without him, though, would it? It's irrelevant. I really can't get my head around all this. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with Colin's death. So why did your mistake move the body? I didn't want to. He dragged me into it. But how? Because he said that I'd be in trouble if they found out, and I just panicked. They're trying to charge you with that as well? No, but they... Dug up Joy's body to re-examine it. They think I was in on that as well. Were you? No! So you had no idea he kidnapped me? No! I knew nothing about any of this, chairs. I swear I am completely innocent. You've got to believe me. So they're going to let you out after you've been in court? Only if my solicitor can get bail. Is there any chance she can be there? Try stopping me. And ladies, can I get you any more on a toast, eggs? Are you sure you can afford to give us more breakfast? We'd hate to deplete your resources still further. <laughs> oh, at least he's still got his retail empire. Oh, yes, the famous six shops. How are they faring in this recession? Um, OK. How oh, strange you should have a cash flow problem in that case. Well, you know, most of the retail sector's taken a hit. But your empire is still intact. Yeah. Oh, it's not quite as... Uh, Big as it was, but it's still going strong. How big is it? Five shops? Hmm? Four. Three. Two. This is starting to sound like Cape Canaveral. One. <laughs> Just the one on this street and um, the kebab shop. And that is it. Sorry I was so long in taking the kids to school. There were roadways everywhere. No need to be coy, Sunita. If the car's been repossessed and you had to take the bus, you can tell us. But the car has not been repossessed, all right? It's no use taking that tone with us. Anyone has cause to be angry, it's us for being lied to. I'm sorry, honey, I've uh, told him about losing the shops. What other skeletons are there in the cupboard? No, 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 no other skeletons. It's a rare mango that rots alone in the barrel. If there is more to know, believe me, we will find out. You'll only dig yourself in deeper by lying. All right. There is something. Uh, honey... I knew it. Well, they might as well know, Dev. Mm. Go on, Sunita, are you listening? We're not married. What? We were there. We were, but then we got divorced. Divorced? Mm. So now you know everything. Fraud and murder! Fizz! They're only charging him with fraud so far. Well, the thing that she helps him to do these killings. Well, they're getting this Colin bloke's body out of the canal and they've dug up his mother. Yeah, well, the real killer swans around Ireland free. Under another false identity, no doubt. She must be in a right state. I said I got to court this morning to be there for her. Well, why don't we all go? Well, someone's got to stay here with Hope. Yeah, I'll do that. You lot go. Ches, if she's up to her neck in it, she's going to need all the support she can get. We didn't tell you because we didn't want to upset you. So that was the reason for the strange sleeping arrangements. I knew there was something fishy going on. Well, look on the bright side. You helped get us back together. You call that bright? Are you still divorced? Yes. So on top of everything else, you're living in sin. You fail as a husband, you fail as a father. You have brought dishonor upon this family. I don't have to listen to this. Oh, me. Dev's been a wonderful husband and father since we got back together. And you know, 
I'm so glad that my short-term business problems have got you talking to each other again. We'll see you later when you both calm down. The shame, the deceit. Although, what? Nothing is ever all bad. No unauthorised personnel beyond this point, I'm afraid. Do you mind? We own this place and we've been keeping out your way since yesterday. No instructions, I'm sorry. OK, how long is it going to be? I've no idea. Oh, I'm glad to see there's a real sense of urgency anyway. As if we haven't lost enough money already. Any news? Close until further notice, I'm afraid. No. It's out of our control. But are you not insured for this kind of thing? What, loss of income due to a corpse under the floor? I wish. What, isn't it an act of God or something? If one of John Stokes' victims being on Earth isn't an act of God, I don't know what is. We don't know who did it yet. Well, thank goodness I've got the Rovers to fall back on. Well, I haven't had anything come in for two weeks. Join the club. <sighs> I suppose compared to Fizz, we're lucky, really. You what? She deserves everything she's got coming to her. I hate these places. Yeah, well, at least we get to go on when it's over. They've got to let her go. Well, that's just it, though. They don't. I hope. Is your name Fiona Stape? Yeah. And you live at... You live at 5 Coronation Street, Weatherfield? Yes. Fiona Stape, you are charged with fraud by false representation in that on the 3rd of February 2011, dishonestly and intending thereby to make a gain for yourself, you made a representation to Benjamin Dean, solicitor, which was and which you knew to be untrue. I've got some Namely, that you were the wife of Colin Fishwick. They're not in a creepy bag if you're worried about the noise. You saw something to concentrate. Yeah, shut up, will you? Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty. So, um, time's your train? Oh, there's, you know, two or three that I can take. Is it, um... Straight through, or do you have to change? Graham, you don't have to hang around like this, you know. Oh, sorry, you're probably getting in your way, Anna. No, it's just, we've said all there is to say, so why drag it out? I'm going to be out of your hair in a couple of hours, and you're going to live happily ever after with Tina. Hmm. Hey, don't forget your book. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh. oh. Sorry. Oh, remember this? Yeah. No. Oh, do you want it? No, it's all right. You, you have it. Don't want the memory, huh? Hi. Oh, hi. Why are you not at work? Oh, um, I just popped back to get something. Oh. Huh. I've had a mad idea. Why don't we all go to the Royal Panda for oh, the last no. meal? No, no, no. I've got too much packing to do. Oh, it won't take a couple of hours. I know, but I don't want to miss my train. All right, well, last drink at the Rovers. They can't say no to that. We're OK. Yeah, it might be fun. A couple of hours, then we're going to be free. <laughs> I'm surprised Chesney hasn't brought little hope in. Well, children are not allowed. <laughs> And anyway, if Fizz was going for the sympathy vote, she won't get any from this judge. I've seen her before. She has all the compassion of a flick knife. In view of the seriousness of this case, I'm committing you for sentence at Weatherfield Crown Court. See what I mean? Is there an application for no bail? No good news. It's any of the rubbish on television these days. <laughs> Miss Jones? In view of the extremely serious fraud charge facing the defendant, Madam, the Crown opposes the application. I would remind the court she is also under investigation for murder, which raises important security issues about her being allowed back into the community. Finally, this is a fast-moving investigation with new revelations coming to light each day. Should a long custodial sentence suddenly be in the offing, we believe Mrs. State would have no compunction in absconding. 
Mr. Westmore? I would begin by pointing out that Mrs. Stape has no previous convictions and in my submission presents no threat to the community. As for the risk of absconding, this is in fact extremely low. She's the single mother of a small baby with no funds to speak of who relies heavily on the support of local family and friends. Her daughter was born prematurely and has had a number of serious health issues. Any disruption to her routine could further jeopardize her well-being. Another reason the defendant is unlikely to flee. I submit that there's every reason for bail to be granted. Thank you both. Oh, this doesn't look good. So, regarding the defendant's bail application, I absolutely understand your concerns, Miss Jones. This is an extremely serious charge. However, on balance, I agree with Mr. Westmore that given her domestic situation, the defendant is unlikely to abscond. Bail is granted. Yes! On condition, Mrs. Stape continues to reside at 5 Coronation Street and reports to a police station once a week. Sharp as a flick knife, you said. Yes, well, we all have off days. So you're all packed? Mm, uh, still more to go. I mean, I didn't realise how much stuff I have. Oh, I know. Bet you can't wait to get away, though, eh? New life. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. Well, I still can't believe we'll be able to pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> Nor I. Can you, Grey? Hmm? No. <laughs> If you could take one memory from being here, what would it be? Um, oh, it would be the moment you offered to help me. Oh. Well, I really must get going and finish packing. Mm. I need to get back to work anyway. Come here. I'm going to miss you, you know. Look after yourself, won't you? I will. And I'll never forget you for as long as I live. You know that. And I'll never forget you. Hello. Hello. Hello, my little sweetheart. Oh, yeah, I've missed you. I've let you out already. Oh, not now, Asa. I told you it was bad news, but would you listen? Do you know what? I don't need this. Yeah, well, whoever he murdered didn't need it either, but they got it. Let's just get you recycled. Any fool could see you as a maniac, but oh no, you knew better. Look, just get off our backs, will you? It could have killed any one of us. Oh, it couldn't. Look, don't get involved, Sam. Someone has to tell her the truth. Yeah, well, it's not worth it. Come on. <sighs> nice welcome. At least he gets it over with. Right, make it quick. Look, I know how you feel about, well, everything that's happened, but can we not find a way of settling this without involving the courts? I've only done it because I can't trust you as far as I can throw you. I know. And if I hadn't have done it, you'd be long gone by now. And guess what? You're still here. I always wanted you to be part of Amy's life, Steve. It's just Becky. I didn't want nearer. Uh, she's been a better mother to her than you have when you were inside. Yeah, all right. But where is she now? Look, a legal agreement is the only way I can guarantee proper access to my daughter. I'm not trying to get out of an agreement. Then what's the problem? Well, I just don't want it dragging through the courts. I mean, do you want that aggravation? Nobody in the right mind wants it. And what about Amy? I mean, she's going to be freaked out by all the judges in the courtrooms and us two screaming at each other. Well, I'm sorry, but I want something in writing. How about this? How about this? Why don't I get my solicitor to draw up an agreement giving me full access to Amy, you sign it, and then we give the courts a swerve? You're OK. You all right with that? Well, yeah, providing it's reasonable. Right. Right, well, let's do it then. People thought we were mad saying that he could have killed Rosie that time, and now look. Look, stop winding yourself up about it. What? When I've been sitting every day at work, yards away from a dead body. This is all Fizz's fault. Oh, it's that psycho's fault, you mean? Hey, you're not telling me she knew nothing about it. It's a weird one, that's for sure. Mm. And the factory's still shut down, none of us getting paid. Sounds mean complaining when there's people dead, I know, but that's all Fizz's fault and all. <sighs> to think. 
I went to prison for giving him a good kicking. We should finish him off now. I'll tell you what's really worrying. What if he turned his attention back onto Rosie? If he's been killing all these people, he could have done her in as well in revenge. Look, he didn't. I mean, we've given him enough grief over the years, he could have killed us as well. Look, Sal, it didn't happen. It's not going to happen. Just stop upsetting yourself. Uh, cab, please. Piccadilly Station. Yep, uh, 15A Coronation Street. Uh, Sheen, uh, it's Chinese, X I N. And, um, no, it's just Sheen. Sheen's fine. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Same old problem with the name. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not your problem anymore. How long will it be? About ten minutes. I don't want you to go. What? This is very wrong of me. But I can't bear the thought of being without you. Well, it's too no, late. No, no, no. No, I mean it. I want you to stay. Thank you, Mr. Uh... McDonald. So sorry about the misunderstanding this morning, Sunita. It wasn't a misunderstanding. You two are laying into us left, right and centre. So glad you could come out for a drink with us. You're being very nice suddenly. The last thing we want is discord within the family. I think it's Deb you should be apologising to more than me. He's happy putting the children to bed by himself? I keep telling you, he is a fantastic dad. Even when we were apart, he was. You're good help, anyway. Cheers. 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 Tell me, how old are you, Sunita? I'm 33. Oh, still young. You'll only be in your mid-forties when the children leave home. And Dave, on the other hand, how old is he? And this is going well? You have plenty of time to find another man. I don't want another man. Not now, perhaps. But in three years' time, when he's lost everything else, and you're in a bed and breakfast somewhere... So this is why you dragged me out? You need someone with prospects. This young man, for example, I gather... He owns the pub and a taxi company. Hello again. If there is a Mrs. McDonald, she's a very lucky woman. Sorry? Is there a Mrs. McDonald? Is this some kind of joke? Oh, no. I have no intention of offending you. What's the matter with him? If you'll excuse me. Your drink. I think I'll leave it, thanks. I'd hate it to lose my tongue. Might say something I regret. Of the most auspicious of beginnings. Patience, Grishma. Rome wasn't built in a day. I mean, we've had this conversation. No. I mean, you made it quite clear, Graham. You know, you, you know, you could only love Tina, and what we did, what we did was a mistake. Yeah, suppose. and when I said it, I meant it. So what's changed? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Oh, you're confused. You know. When I say I meant it, I, I, I was saying what I thought I should say. So you didn't mean it? I'm with Tina. I, I don't want to cheat on her. And you love her? Yeah. Well, well then that's the end of it, then. I'm going to wait outside. Look, I can't stand the thought of never seeing you again. Well, I'm not getting involved in some sordid affair, Graham, if that's what you want. I don't want that. Well, you can't have both of us. I know. Well, I'm going. <laughs> Is that what you really want? Graham, you know what I want. I mean, this is so unfair. It's been torture for me, you know, accepting your decision. And now you're playing my feelings. I don't mean to. One minute you want me, and the next minute you don't. I'm sorry. I can't wait around on the off chance that you make up your mind. If I didn't go tonight... Yeah. What would you say to Tina? I don't know. Well, you'd have to say something. Graham, you know I love you. And if there's a chance to be with you, I'll stay. You know. Yeah. But you have to decide quickly. Either you stay here with me and leave her, or I'm out of your life forever. When you say quickly, 
24 hours, Graham. We've got 24 hours. <sighs> Is Liam all right? Yeah, he sparked out. <laughs> I've just put him in the spare bed for now, if that's all right. Yeah, of course it is. Cheers. Thanks for this, you too. It was nice to have you back. Mm -hmm. Although I could have done without that welcome from Sally. Well, she's bonkers. She's not the only one who thinks like that, though, Kirk. He's seen Norris in cuts, sneering down his nose. Mm, he's even more mental. There'll be others. Yeah, well, the fact is, Fizz, that most people around here love you. Now, this isn't going to change how they feel. Sally's right, of course. Why? Well, if I hadn't have had John back, none of this would have happened. Right, you've got to stop beating yourself up about that. He'd have done something like this sooner or later, even without you. He can't help himself. Yeah, but I wouldn't have been involved, would I? I've got myself into a complete mess now. You're better off than you were this morning. Yeah. I mean, look, you're back with your friends and family. Yeah, for now I am. Meantime, the courts get ready to try me for fraud. Murder as well, knowing my luck. It's not going to come to that. You didn't kill anyone. Yeah, but how do I prove it? A few months' time, I'm probably going down. And Hope could be a young woman before I see the light of day. Unless a miracle happens. Well, Fizz isn't the only one in limbo. What will Graham do about his two women? You can find out from the actor himself, Craig Gazy at itv.com slash Corrie. Job. It's done all these horrible things to you, dealing with these people all the time, all the dirt you have to live with day after day. It's changed you. You were never like this when we met. Don't know what you're talking about. Injustice is next tonight here on ITV One. <laughs>